Hi guys, I'm back. This is the Empress Jack Rabbit. Um, as anyone who follows me or listens to me knows, we relocated. <clears throat> we moved from Michigan. Boo. Sorry, Michigan folks. I don't like it there. The cold, the snow was absolutely more extreme than I needed to be dealing with. And we moved from there back home to Las Vegas. Um, I'm so glad to be back. We've been back <clears throat> about a week and a couple of days. And it's just been fantastic seeing friends, family, and just being in an environment that's better for me and my girls to help us grow and thrive. Um, everyone's enrolled in school, and I'm back teaching. I've been working a lot, um, getting my classroom together and things like that. But um, the kids don't come back till next week. So I'm kind of excited to be back in the swing of that. I was teaching from home online and now I'm back in the classroom with third graders. Um, I thought I'd do a reading on um, Ice Cube and Dr. Dre. So a combo. They uh, got together and made the movie um, Straight Outta Compton. And... It has set records. It made, uh, they predicted 56 million and it made 60, I mean, 60 million is what it actually made um, when they did the count today. Um, there were no incidents as the police were trying to say, or TMZ had that crap up there. There were no incidents. And people act like, um, the press, the media, I don't know. They act like we as people are crazy. This is a biopic of what happened in the 90s. It isn't something that's happening right now. It's an opportunity for us to look at and remember those times and remember where we were when those songs came out, those situations were happening. And so many people that would, would may come see it don't wasn't even alive at that time or even remember those incidents like myself or people in my age range. So anyways, let's take a look at Ice Cube. I'm a, just a big fan of Ice Cube. He really did go from nothing to something. Um, and Dr. Dre did as well, but he also had the beats that he sold and helped him to make a lot of money as well, where Ice Cube really scrapped it out. Ice Cube is a Gemini, same as I, I love Geminis. He's born June 15th, 1969, and that makes him actually a number one person. Um, in his early years, as a six, he was always um, someone that he had to be, I would say, the man of the house, where he had to handle things and take care of things and get some money in there some kind of way. And I think that would have been a big motivation for him to... Uh, to get into this rap game, but not only that, to try to hold it together as long as he could. The interesting thing about a Gemini, though, we'll stay in something, we'll be loyal to something, even if it isn't necessarily the best for us, but we'll always look at, thing as, at things as um, the whole, rather than just ourselves. So if it was working for the whole, we want to be there. When things started taking a, a turn or went to the left as far as uh, financially and egos, he was the first to jump ship, and it was the best thing that ever happened to him. So we can see automatically that he's very smart, very nurturing. Even nowadays, he's still a six, very nurturing, um, uh, sometimes a bit of a, a worrier or can see the negative sides of things. Lots of fun to be around, very talkative, very supportive. Um, to be a sex, he's a strange sex because his birthday is June 15th. That means that he also likes a lot of independence and freedom and fun and travel. You know, local travel. It doesn't necessarily have to be out of the country. But he loves to go, go, go. That is who he is. His overall, as I said, is a number one. So that, again, makes him a natural leader. He is a natural leader. You would think it's Dr. Dre, but this is the guy right here that got this movie together who had the biggest part, I would I would guess, of making sure 
all the pieces came together just right. Because it's one thing for us to be in a group and everybody tells their little side of the story. Somebody's got to get it together and put in the parts that we all forgot and take out the ones that we didn't need. And that would definitely be this number one leader. He's great at getting things started. He's a great planner, analyzer, organizer. He stays in his head a lot. Um, you could think of a number one person as being selfish, but his selfishness, his thinking about himself or what's best for him, is really about what's best for him and what's best for his family, not just himself. He's a great parent, um, a pretty good spouse too. I'm not saying he doesn't have his shortcomings, but overall he's a great, great guy. And this is a great year for him. It's a number five year, and he's made this movie, and he's also... Um, Straight out of Compton, he's also doing uh, what's that movie? Ride Along, Ride Along Two. That's old Tory Boo back there. No. Ride Along Two. So he's going to be taking a break this year. He's going to let his hair down and just have fun and kick back and chill out. Like I said, do some traveling. He might even move this year. Um, do some physical changes of him. See either beards on or off or hair or his dress and everything. He's coming into his own now. This is we're not talking about a little boy. He's born nineteen sixty nine, so this is a a man, and uh, he's not, you know, a, a man in a boy's body. He's a real man with a tremendous amount of charm and sex appeal, and you just love him the minute you see him. Let's look at Doctor. Dre. He's February 18th. He's uh, an Aquarius. And that answers a lot of questions. I, I was thinking, I had never looked into him or his sign or his numbers, but I thought that he was probably a Virgo. Because I know he had an album that was supposed to have been dropped 10 years ago, and now we find out that he's not going to drop that album at all. He's starting all over again. And you would think that that is a Virgo. You know, it's just not perfect enough. And I've heard about him taking so long to um, produce music because he wants it to be just right. So that screamed to me Virgo. He probably has Virgo in his side. But he's actually an Aquarius. And so that makes sense to me because Aquarius people are extremely intelligent people. They live outside the box. They think outside the box. And I could imagine if he couldn't find a beat that was outside the box or new or refreshing, then he wouldn't want to do it. Um, he is, when well, as far as him growing up, he probably had, I would imagine, uh, trouble in the house because he's a number two. And a number two, they really crave peace and balance and harmony. And so when you come into this world and you have that number or two or an 11 and you're craving that, oftentimes you don't have that. That's why you're craving and yearning it so much because you, even as a young person, are always having to play the peacemaker. His middle number is a nine. So whether you know it or not, he is a true humanitarian. Um, I even saw him do the ALS uh, challenge last summer. I saw it on, I think, YouTube. Um, but he does a lot of charitable work, philanthropic work behind the scenes. Now, he definitely has his ups and downs because that 2 and that 9 is 11. So that says that oftentimes that master number is learning the hard way. I'll say it like that. It's full of challenges. And so a lot of times challenges come to him and he has a way of getting out of it. I don't want to imply that he's in trouble. I'm just saying that sometimes trouble comes to you. You have a way of getting around it or getting over it or what have you. But he's a number five overall. So you always, and, and didn't, don't we know this? He's always changing. Like I said, he wanted to do album this way. Now he's going to do it that way. First he was working with this artist and now he's working with that artist. Um, he's always changing and doing He's, uh, he's a full man as well. He's really learning how to work with his money and invest his money. The nice thing about this is that um, that movie 
for him started in a number nine. So, but what saved him was his birthday was so early in the year and it became a number one. And that means new beginnings. So he's planting a lot of seeds right now. Do not be surprised if he actually does come out with that new album or makes some other movie because this is Hollywood. Now, when you become a success with your movies, what happens? Look at Ice Cube. All those, um, where are we now, where are we going, or are we there yet, and the ride-alongs. They're going to continue making movies that are going to actually draw in um, a lot of people. You'll be surprised of the people who are truly fans of these gentlemen, and they really appreciate their work. And so they're going to have more of that. And that's because he's planted the seeds for that number one year. So <laughs> the funny thing is, Ice Cube is going to be chilling but Dr. Dre no no he's this type of man and it is that type of year he made a success he knew it was going to be success he's going to make a lot of money off that film and hopefully he took a deal on the back end if you don't know what that means look it up google it um, but he's going to start on his next venture planning it right away and he's going to get it going and trust me for the in his cycle this next nine year cycle um, you're going to hear a lot more of him. He's kind of been laid back and in the shadows, but he's going to be more out front. So look forward to that. Anyways, they're great guys. I want to see the movie myself. Um, I've only been here a week, been working right away. So once we get settled in and settled down, so great to be back. If you guys liked it, subscribe, thumbs me up, leave a comment, welcome me back. I'm so happy to be back and I really missed you guys and have a great night.